Hello, and welcome to Mastering System Center Operations Manager 2016. I'm Stephen Homan, and this is the course overview where we go over a brief summary of what you can expect to learn in the course Mastering System Center Operations Manager 2016. But first, a little information about me. I'm a Microsoft based technologist with over 28 years' experience working with a variety of clients. Anywhere from small operations with one or two people, I think my smallest client was one person, uh, and then my largest environments that I've worked in had well over 45,000 users distributed in two countries and over 200 sites. I'm passionate about System Center as an overall solution, all aspects of it, as well as other Microsoft solutions out there, and feel very strongly that when you use the tools that are available to you through Microsoft solutions and let them work together the way they're designed, you get the best value from your Microsoft agreement or your Microsoft partnership. I'm also a consultant and consult on a variety of engagements, whether it's operations manager, system center based, Active Directory, or many other Microsoft technologies, and have done numerous public speakings about technology, process improvement, and delivering better value to your end users. You can look for more information about my uh, solutions, ideas, and things of that nature on my website, www. .fortisol.com. When I'm not working on technology, on a personal level, I enjoy sailing, including yacht racing, cooking, target shooting, and engaging in philanthropy, where I give back to my community as much as possible. So let's go over the roadmap of this course. And the goal of this course wasn't to give you a technical deep dive into all the aspects of advanced operations manager usage. There's TechNet for that. There's a variety of websites for that. What this course was designed to do was to give you the tools to implement Operations Manager in a more advanced way. So I start with a foundation, look at the implementation, and then tie it all together in the end. And that's really the three main overviews. And then we'll go over the details of what's in those overviews here in the next few slides. So let's take a look at the foundation, for example. In the foundation and best practices, I start with section one. And section one is about management packs. And management packs seem to be um, somewhat of a cloudy subject for lots of ops manager admins where they don't know when to create new ones or, or how they affect other things. So we talk about management packs in section one. We move into section two, which is about notification tuning, really turning down the noise because chief complaint that I hear amongst operations manager users or people that have attempted it and abandoned it is that it's too noisy. It generates too much information. And I can agree with that. So I'm going to show you how to turn that down and go after the information that you need in Section 2. In Section 3, we look at Run as Account Deployment. This was another section that I struggled with early on. How do we deploy secure Run as Accounts? How do we deploy insecure Run as uh, Accounts? How do we make sure it goes after just the things that we want and not generates more overhead by going after things we don't want to target? That's Section 3, Run as Account Deployment. Then we move into the Data Collection and Advanced Monitoring. Section 4 is all about gathering the data from your end users and implementing the monitoring with that data. Your end users have an idea, whether it's your application owners, whether it's the application admins, they have an idea of what they need monitored. They know when they want to be notified and when they don't want to be notified. So how do we gather that information and turn that into real monitors using the information that we need to turn on those monitors? That's Section 4. Section 5 is about distributed applications because individual monitors are fine, but we need to pool that information in together to a distributed application, which gives us an overview of either the application or perhaps our entire environment as a whole. And when we can see things like the database, the application, the middleware, the web services, as well as the network all in one place, then we can get to faster resolution by seeing where our problem lies. And that's Section 5 on Distributed Applications, which was a tough subject for me initially, so I really wanted to cover this one. Section 6 is all about dashboards, in-console dashboards in particular. So now that we've gathered the information in 4, we've built our distributed applications in 5, how do we present that information to those end users so they have the assurance that their systems are A, being monitored, and B, running as expected? So we move into the last area where we bring it all together. We look at Section 7, Operations Management Suite, which is in Azure, and takes the uh, information that we gather from our systems and really starts to look into what ways to make it run better and also present it in a really neat way. 
we also move into section eight where we talk about console delegation. So if we have end users or target audience folks who we want to allow to run tasks and start to resolve their own stuff, we can delegate that console access and only give them access to the information they need and the tasks that they we want them to have. And then if that's section eight, with finally with section nine, we're in PowerShell. And PowerShell with SCUM is a great way to where you move from reactive, even an operations manager, oh, I have an alert, let me go look at it, to proactive, where we can say, when this alert comes in, do these functions, or gather this information from service manager and present it in operations manager. So we take these three overview sections, and what we try to build is real-world practical knowledge. So what are some of the requirements or prerequisites? Well, obviously, you're going to need an operations manager 2016 environment. And I would hope that you might have a sandbox environment or a 180-day trial for the class, uh, but you do need an operations manager environment. And you need some foundational knowledge of operations manager. This is not a course where if you've never touched it before but you're interested, you'd like to come in and run. You really want to take the basic course or have at least uh, some time with operations manager and a fundamental knowledge. I need you to have a thinking mindset in this. And what I mean by that is, again, this is not a technical deep dive into how to click next, next, next. Um, like I said, TechNet has plenty of information on how to do next, next, next. What I want is I want you to come in, take the course, and think, how can I implement this in my environment? Where can I use this and deliver value? And then finally, an eagerness to investigate further. I'm going to plant seeds, and I want those seeds to grow into uh, wonderful ideas that you can then implement in your environment, and I'd love to get feedback on that. So what is the course goal given that information? Again, it's to gain real-world insight into how to deploy Operations Manager. This isn't about the technical overview. This is how do we do it in real world where it's been done in other environments. I want to provide a foundation for thinking about the needs in your environment. And again, that's about planting that seed. Have practical working knowledge of advanced Operations Manager concepts. I have worked with plenty of people who are very book smart and have very good technical knowledge, but the application of that technical knowledge sometimes comes up short because they're lacking practical working knowledge. That's what I want to deliver to you in this course. And finally, learn how to deliver value to your customers through operational insight. IT is traditionally seen as a cost center, but when we can turn that around and whether our customers our actually paid customers, like in a managed services provider, or perhaps our end users in an internal, you know, enterprise type environment, or our C-level executives who write the checks for our departments, we need to learn how to deliver value to those people through operational insight and take away the stigma that IT is just a cost center. I hope you enjoy this course. I hope you sign up for this course, and I look forward to seeing you inside. Have a great day.